Welcome back to the Friendica tutorial where I will show you how you can do everything on Friendica that you can on Facebook, but be even more connected with social media. Friendica is a part of the Fediverse, and a decentralized social media platform where your data is never sold or used without your express permission, and no central server owns your data. The network is made up of volunteers who run instances or nodes, and your encrypted data there can only be accessed by you. Today we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with Facebook, comparing all the features between the two, and how much they're alike, and how you can make it your central social media hub, linking it to Twitter, WordPress, Tumblr, and other social media sites, excluding Facebook as Zuck sees it as a threat. Friendica at the moment does have a few limitations, so having a Mastodon account can make up for the very few limitations it still has. So here's my Mastodon account. One of the advantages there is I can cut and paste pictures into here, and then I can go back through and go ahead and share this on my page as well. You can't cut and paste pictures. You got to download, upload the file. So it's kind of annoying that way. The advantages of using Friendica is you can do really long posts, post them, and then you can go back to your Mastodon account and you can share it that way. And then people will be able to see the full post. So Mastodon with Friendica has some major advantages, but if you don't want that, you can also go here to settings and go to social network. And here you can connect everybody. You'll notice there's no Facebook here because Zuck is evil and he saw this as too much of a threat for some reason and made it impossible to post that way. With this one, you can do a Twitter import export mirror. So Anything you write on your page here will go to Twitter, and anything you write on Twitter will come back here and will get posted on your page as well, which is pretty cool in of itself, which is why Twitter will have the major advantage if any of these start taking off. However, with Macedon, you can do something similar, and I'll put this in the bottom. You can log into Twitter, you can log into Macedon, and they'll swap the same way. So everything I do on TootCat here on Macedon gets posted immediately to Twitter. And I happen to like Macedon specifically because I enjoy finding new people. And it's a, like I said, because I don't have a language filter on mine that I do on Macedon, I can more easily find new people. So with Macedon, you've got your home, you've got your notifications, you've got your local, which is inside TubeCat specifically. And then you've got Federated, which is a worldwide system. You've got direct messages, bookmarks, profile directory, if I wanted to look anybody up. Friendica is no different. This is my friends conversations. This is my home, my posts and conversations. This right here is conversations on this and other servers. So you can go to local or global community, just like you could on the other one. And as you can see, everything's gone to hell in a handbasket because this was around the protest time. There's email messages, but I haven't messaged anybody. You can set up events on a calendar, your birthday or something like that, and it will show up. But since most of us don't actually have friends here, because we're sad, pathetic, I mean, uh, because the uh, server is new and nobody wants to try out a new system because it's kind of hard, it's uh, kind of difficult. And no one, there's no need to use a calendar. So you can use videos, photos, upload status upload profile, personal notes, contacts. And if this was to collapse, as they said, this is going to collapse or you got kicked off or something like that, you could download your profile information and you could download your contacts. And that is all. Unfortunately, all of your pictures are gone. You can download pictures you've uploaded, but you can't download any of the metadata that came with it, unfortunately. And even then, if you see in your settings, export personal data, this right here is actually still in the test phase. So it's a beta version. So even then, it's still kind of clunky. It's not that great. But then again, most people don't need to move to different instances in Facebook anyway, so it's not that big of a deal yet. Here's your notifications here, mark as seen. So yeah, it's pretty similar. My home. You'll see here in the side my pictures, my contacts, and these are the categories that I will categorize some of these things from. Due to the fact that I started using Mastodon, I've stopped categorizing things, but I easily can. Like take, for example, I want to post something. I go over here, post something, I can set the title, I can set the category, and then later on, if I want to, I can go back and check these categories. So it's you're essentially putting it in a list when you're posting it. 
So let's go over to Facebook here. So right now you've got your news feed. This is your news feed. You've got multiple news feeds, unlike with Facebook. You've got Messenger. Messenger you don't really need. You can, you, there's all sorts of apps and stuff like that for Messenger. Marketplace, there's other things for that. There's places to watch stuff. So let's go down here. You've got your saved things, like I said. Saved stuff down here. You have pages. The fundraisers aren't here, but there are plenty of other places to put fundraisers up at. We'll talk about groups here in a second. That's the most difficult one. It took me forever to figure that one out. Events, once again, we've got calendars. we got friend lists. The rest of these are essentially just add-ons as ways to make Facebook more money. Since there's no money being exchanged, you can get a weather add-on. I'd really like that to happen in my instance, but we'll see how that goes. And then you go to your profile. You can go to your home. This is this. You can edit your profile activity log. You got your old photos. You got your friends, just like you do in Friendica. One of the things that Friendica I would love to have happen is do things like life events. Life events would be wonderful. And then on this day, that would be great. That's one of the things that it's missing and won't be perfect until they can figure out how to do the move all your data over to another instance. Once they can get that, then they can start like really compiling and playing with your data and going on this day, you posted this and so on. And then probably the top post you did that day will probably be the one that you get to see. But yeah, you've got your timeline. Literally, there's nothing here that you can't do. The only difference is that there's way more people on here. There's way more money dumped in this place. They're trying to make money off of this thing. Friendica is not. Okay, so here's something different you can do for your profile to change some of your settings. So you can go to your settings, hit account, now hit profile. You can create custom profile fields. So in this case, I put in my political views. Let's put down favorite bands. Um, it's been forever since I've actually thought about what my favorite bands are because there's so many good stuff out there, but I'll put them down. All right, now submit. And when someone looks at my personal profile, they can see all of this information. So I've shown you profile, I've shown you additional features. These basically can set up your sidebars. These are just extra things. You gotta go into the details of this. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the explanation. Some of these are a bit too complicated and they're kind of a, just add-ons. Kind of interesting, like you can create a tag cloud which will show your tags, display date membership, that kind of thing. You've got displays, showing you that. Social networks, once again, showing you that. Add-ons, these are some interesting things. You can do advanced content filter. Advanced content filter is essentially, you've gotta kinda of know how to program to do some of these. Block them, that's a way to block people. Markdown, I'm still not 100% sure what that is. If I figure it out, I'll let you guys know, especially if it turns out to be useful. Content filter, you can enable content filter. It will blur things out, so if you're scrolling at work, and somebody posts a naked person on there then, and they've tagged it as not safe for work, it won't show up on your computer. I had that problem before at one point where things were just popping up. So I had to stop using it for a while. Let's see, we've got show more setting, oh, let's see. and then super block. I don't know, some of these add-ons are still in the beta stage, so they're not that great. So anyway, everything you can do in Facebook, you can do in Friendica. The only downsides is there's a couple of bugs here or there. Some of the, some of the steps are in beta stage, and most people don't want to try out a new social media site because they've been on multiple social media sites and everything was the brand new hype and then they got burned. The advantage of this is it works with Mastodon, it can work with Twitter, it can work with Tumblr. It just doesn't work with Facebook. So you can bounce around back and forth and you'll be able to share all sorts of things. I can jump to Mastodon and I can jump to Twitter. It's really convenient that way. And if I was friends with enough people, then I would never really have to go back to Facebook again. But everybody's on Facebook. So yeah. Anyway, that's the tutorial. I hope you learned something today. And if you're interested, you can add me through here and be my friend, please be my friend. Anyway, uh, have a good day.